Hello my friends, 24th of July, it's Friday afternoon, 2020. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that who shall ever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, and it is a shame, it is a total shame that many deny our Lord and Savior. It is so sad that we have so many, not in just America, North America, but throughout every continent on this planet that still deny Jesus Christ as their personal savior. They still deny Christ as anything but some character in a book that may or may not have lived, that may or may not have been the son of God, that may not even have been anything at all. And then you have a lot of the atheists that believe nothing. I never understood how someone can believe nothing created everything. No matter how you go back, there has to be a creator. No matter how you go back. But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. I, if people would really just listen to that. It really, it really hits straight to the heart. When you're having a bad day, which we all do. And I'm having one today as a matter of fact. I'm not a bad day, but an aggravating day. You think of that. You think of that scripture. You think what God did for all of humanity. Not just some or select few. All of humanity. He gave his only son to be sacrificed as a sacrificial lamb on that cross. So his blood could cover our sins if, and the kicker in that is if we accept, we must accept to be saved, to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Because that blood is what covers our sins. And if people would just realize if that, that scripture, God so loved the world, yes, he did and he does but the sad part is not many love him not many love his son the king of kings the lord of lords the alpha the omega not many today and that is the saddest part of it all so when you're having a bad day or you're aggravated or things aren't going your way just think about what God did for you for me for all of us think about it think about what Jesus cross Jesus cross Jesus Christ did on the cross my words get mixed up on me there see I told you I was having a bad day an aggravating day I think I said just think about what Christ did on the cross. That alone should be enough to pull you out of the doldrums or make that frown turn upside down or take that angerness and calm it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Remember, if you don't believe in Jesus, you don't accept Christ, you will have the second death. But if you believe and you accept, you will have everlasting life. So that ultimately is the choice that you have to make. Everlasting life on one hand or the second death on the other.
and the Bible clearly talks about the second death, what that entails. And if you don't know, then look it up. You need to. Short today, that's all I got. God bless each and every one of you. Pray for this nation. Pray for each other. Pray for our president and all our leaders, all of them. Thank you. Subscribe if you like. Hit the like button if you want. And I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. God bless you.